in Cars 3, there's a new owner who's come in and uh, sponsoring Lightning McQueen, except he doesn't really want him to race anymore. He doesn't want to risk, uh, you know, tarnishing the brand. So he wants to have Lightning McQueen just kind of retire and just kind of, you know, sell his products. And Lightning McQueen makes a deal with him to give him one more chance to see if he can win uh, one more race. And because Lightning McQueen doesn't want to just be a product, a brand, um, he still wants to race. In the beginning, Lightning McQueen is doing what he always does. He's racing and winning, and then all of a sudden he is not doing that. And there's a new generation of young racers that are kind of uh, nipping at his heels, or more than nipping at his heels, they're, they're beating him. And so it forces Lightning McQueen to uh, try some new training methods and dig deep and see if he still has what it takes to be a champion. The big nemesis for Lightning McQueen in Cars 3 is Jackson Storm. And that's a racer, it's not a meteorologist, it's a formidable racer. And he is one of these young guns that is trying to take the title from our beloved Lightning McQueen. Over the course of uh, the training between Cruz and Lightning McQueen, a friendship begins to develop. And first it's sort of, Lightning McQueen's very irritated, and uh, he, you know, doesn't have much faith in Cruz Ramirez's methods, but slowly he begins to see that, uh, um, you know, her ideas and techniques can work, and more importantly, he begins to kind of connect with her and um, begins to sort of learn about her personal history, and I think that inspires Lightning McQueen a lot and gets him to sort of look outside himself. John uh, Lasseter directed uh, the first two, and so when Brian came on board to direct uh, Cars 3, um, it was fun for us to kind of get to know each other and develop a, um, a relationship in the way that we sort of would work together, and I think it went great. Pixar does such a good job kind of telling these stories and, um, you know, the, giving people a way to sort of connect with these characters. And I think with Lightning McQueen, it's sort of, you know, a little bit of the humor, but also the kind of the drive to win. And um, I just think that he sort of exists in this uh, world that, uh, that people like to visit.